I just wanted to start off and say congratulations on an incredible movie. I'm absolutely in love with your character. I think it was so cool watching like a strong, powerful woman just take charge. It was awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. It really means a lot. Of course. And you look beautiful today, by the way. Ah, Thank you. As do you. Your hair is so cool. (laughs) Thank you. Um, So just to start off, could you tell me a little bit more about Braddock's character and role in Uncharted? Sure. Um, Braddock is a friend of Sully, or I shouldn't say a frenemy of Sully's. Um, She comes from his past, um, and they have a bit of a a mysterious, tentious history um, that will sort of envelop throughout the film. Um, Sorry, develop throughout the film. Um, Braddock is very cunning. Um, She's very calculated. She is a psychopath that has one objective and is going to stop at nothing and turn on everything in her past to make sure she gets there. Um, Yeah, in a nutshell, that's Braddock, yeah. Awesome, yeah. And seeing that Uncharted was such like an action-packed movie, there was obviously a lot of physicality with all the roles. Mm. So how did you personally prepare emotionally and physically for your role? Um, I, physically, um, I went through three or four months of like physical training and like getting buff and beefed up and ready. Um, And then just as much rehearsal time as I could for each one of the sequences um, and just kind of drilling them in and getting them right. Um, And then emotionally, like with Braddock's lack of emotion, um, I actually did a lot of research into like psychopaths and like how their behavior sort of presents and what it truly means to like not have emotion and not be capable of empathy. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that, those are my approaches in that. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, so obviously Braddock is very different from the Tati that we know. So yeah. were there any difficulties or challenges you faced with trying to portray her? Um, the lack of empathy part, um, because like I am super empathetic and sensitive. Um, and so it was, I remember like being on set with like Ruben and everything and like, you know, wanting to, to show emotion in a certain moment. And he's like, ah, no, like that, that's not, she does not care. And I'm like, oh God, okay, yeah, I got you. That's just so difficult because how often do you meet a human that has zero empathy? Um, so yeah, that was the biggest challenge. Yeah, um, I totally get that. I'm also very empathetic. Um, <laughs> but you mentioned once in an interview with Bill that when you try to take on a new character, you have these rituals. And you also try to be a vessel that tells the story of their soul. So mm-hmm. um, when you were portraying Braddock, were there any rituals that you had before going into it? Um, there were songs that I would play every morning before starting. Um, Braddock's like big, I guess, uh, my like main get into it song was Non, je ne, re- je ne regrette rien um, by Edith Piaf. Um, and like the literal translation of, of that is like, no, I have no regrets. Um, and that's what I felt really like charged me. And like, like that's who Braddock was, um, that she was, you know, was willing to die to get to what she wanted. Um, and I was like, did I have any other rituals? I'd also burn Palo Santo in my trailer every morning um, to just like set the energy, get good vibes going. Yeah, so those are my Braddock rituals. Awesome. Um, so we're actually both originally from the Bay Area and I know you attended. Oh, well. Oakland school yeah (laughs) and you also attended (laughs) you attended Oakland school for the arts which is insane so I have to know personally what is one of your favorite places in the bay um Berkeley California is my favorite by far my favorite city in the bay um yeah like I spent a lot of time in Berkeley I went to school in Oakland and just spent so much time in Berkeley um I was a hippie kid and Berkeley was our hippie town. Um, So yeah. I love Berkeley. I live right next to it. I'm literally always there. It's like my favorite place. Yeah. I need to get back (laughs) home soon. I haven't been to Berkeley, I feel like, in what feels like years now. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. SoCal is very different vibes from Berkeley, especially Berkeley. Very. Yes. Very, very (laughs) different. Like, I always tell people don't compare the band LA because you can't. You can't. Yeah. You can't. People don't no. get it. <laughs> they don't get it. Thank you, Serena. 
So I thought that Braddock's outfits in the movie were absolutely phenomenal. Like that dress she wore for the mm-hmm. art auction, her treasure hunting ones. So mm-hmm. were there any particular looks that were your favorite? Um, her auction look was definitely one of my big favorites. And that was actually like a last minute decision that was made that dress, but fell in love with it immediately. Um, I also really dug her um, ending outfit, the sort of like a like vest jumpsuit sort of thing with the black and boots and everything. Um, I just like the, the embellishment that they did. That vest was originally all black and I like the like sort of the pop of color that they brought into it. Um, yeah, I feel like there's one I'm missing. No, that might be, those are my two, two big favorites, yeah. Yeah, those are definitely my two favorites too. Yeah, she just looks so cool. Thanks, yo. I like, I was with it. I was like, oh, so classy. (laughs) So you seem to play a lot of roles on darker shows like you or The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So would you say that you typically enjoy watching those kinds of like scary or thriller shows? No, absolutely not. Like, and which is so funny that like, that like I always like, I don't know, laugh with the universe about it sometimes, but like, I am the scariest person, like, like, scared of everything, like, that you'll ever meet, like, I'm the person that runs through the house at night when it's dark, because I'm afraid there's something lurking in the shadows, um, so it's really interesting to me that, like, these things kind of keep gravitating toward me, maybe there's something I'm supposed to, like, address with myself and face, but who knows, (laughs) Yeah, no, I'm the exact same. I can't even look at like scary trailers or anything. Me either. No, I can't. Like, it's really yeah. bad. Maybe it's just a Bay Area thing. Maybe. Well, no, because like my brother and sister love them. Like, absolutely love them. Yeah. That's why um, I can't watch TV with them ever. <laughs> so, um, when you were playing Braddock, was there anything new that you were able to learn about yourself through her character? That's a good question. Um, I definitely learned or garnered a bit more confidence um, and yeah, like learned what it meant. I think through not only just playing Braddock, but through the course of like this shoot, just learned to trust myself more and um, really give myself credit um, for certain things. Um, Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's it. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, but Braddock, that's my I don't time. really want to be like, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I get it. I mean, she's like powerful, but like, I see what you mean as yes. well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, definitely. Like, but I, I definitely think the confidence is something that we share. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else I would want to take from her. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, that's my time. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. It was an absolute pleasure. And again, congratulations on your great movie. I can't wait what else you have in store for us in the future. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shereen. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Like, go Bay Area. Go Bay Area. Bye. <laughs>